the Huskers. They have a couple big names on campus. Could get even bigger if that one offensive tackle, David Sanders Jr., arrives. But let's start with Isaiah Mosey. He is committed to Oregon. Is this in Nebraska? Should Nebraska fans have Mosey on flip watch? Well, I think that they're in an interesting position because since he's committed to Oregon, he took an official visit to, to Nebraska. Now he's coming back again, and his father, Jamar Mosey, works in an off-field role at Nebraska after previously working at UCF. So there's a lot of good things going mm. in Nebraska's favor, but this is a family that's always believed in Matt Rule, a trajectory of the program. It's felt like a priority, has had great visits to Lincoln in the past, also visited in the spring. It's obvious, Josh, you love to say follow the visits. Nebraska is a program that is trending if you look at that metric alone. Yeah, and, you know, following the visits, I was following Michael Terry, the five-star athlete out of Texas. You know, he took that official visit to Nebraska back in April. Hasn't been back since. You know, thought, hey, if Michael Terry's going to choose Nebraska, he needs to make it back there in July. And guess what's happening this weekend? Five-star Michael Terry on campus. Do the Huskers have a legit shot at landing the number one athlete in America? I'm not sleeping on Nebraska for anybody here right now at this point in the process. It seems like they are pedal to the metal. And uh, I think between relationships with the staff and what they're able to present off the field with their infrastructure, they're an exciting place right now for their top targets. When Michael Terry took his official visit to Nebraska for the spring game back in April, the local newspaper had a, a, a top flap story on what an important coveted recruit Michael Terry was. So as soon as he got off the plane, he sees the newspaper, he feels important, has a great official visit. The way Nebraska plans to use him in the offense is exciting. He loves being around that coaching staff and, and with them adding them as the last visit. I think they're in an exciting position and I don't think Michael Terry's made up his mind. I think Texas maybe grabs some momentum during the official visits, uh, but Oregon's in the thick of it and now you have Nebraska looking to make a late move. Yeah, so could be interesting there. And obviously the big name everybody wants to know is David Sanders. What are you hearing about a potential visit to Lincoln this weekend? Well, when I talked to Samantha Sanders, David's mom, a, a week or so ago, she said that they were putting together their itinerary for this final week. What school does David want to take a final look at before announcing his college decision? And Nebraska makes sense. You know, he's been to Tennessee numerous times, been to Ohio State three times this year been to Georgia a bunch during his process. He's only been to Nebraska once, Mother's Day weekend, for his official visit. And so I would not be surprised at all. And when you're shaking trees and talking to sources, if David Sanders is at Nebraska this weekend, and, and that would be another opportunity for him to get around this coaching staff in person, maybe get around some players and see how he fits in with those guys and continue to talk about the important factors for him in his process. Steve, we've been talking a lot about Nebraska, and for much of the spring and especially into the summer, we've been talking 1A, 1B, and that's Ohio State and Tennessee. However you want to put 1A and 1B, it's those two teams. If David Sanders does show up at Nebraska this weekend, does that change? I'd have to answer that question afterwards, Josh, because we'll have to see – how uh, another Nebraska visit would resonate, but I think it's obvious when he put out his top four that he's got a great deal of intrigue and interest in Nebraska. And it started with him watching Dylan Rayola flip from Georgia to Nebraska. And Dylan Rayola was one of the top peer recruiters in the country when he was committed to Ohio State, then flipped to Georgia. And even though he's battling for a job at Nebraska, Matt Rule told me yesterday he was born to play quarterback but he's also in the facility at 6 a.m. He's also recruiting Nebraska's top targets, trying to bring in the best players around him to help restore glory at a program that's so close to his family. I know he's been on David Sanders a lot, and so we'll see what a visit this weekend to uh, Lincoln does. Yeah, if he shows up in Lincoln, I'm bumping Ohio State out of that 1A, 1B conversation. I think it's Tennessee, Nebraska, but like you said, we'll see what happens after this weekend. He's got to show up first. All right, now you did mention Riola. He's visiting this weekend. Not Dylan Riola, but Dayton Riola, the younger brother, the 2026 quarterback, Dayton Riola, visiting Lincoln this weekend. Uh, is he a rising star in the uh, recruiting world? Well, we'll see. He's got to be the starting quarterback this fall. Uh, but he's got some talent. I've seen him throw 
uh, on air in workouts uh, when he was in Arizona. And then he got a chance to throw in front of the Nebraska staff at their camp this summer. They've offered him a scholarship. They're obviously the one to beat right now going into this visit. He's excited to get on campus again, get see his brother. Uh, he hadn't seen his brother in a little bit. And uh, obviously Nebraska is the one to beat for Dayton Rayola right now. All right, there you go. Nebraska fans, chime in. Let us know if David Sanders shows up this weekend, how we feel, and let us know. Comment section below.